here. Ricky Puish and Carlos Perez keep their places with Luis Suarez and the aforementioned Antoine Griezmann starting together. Leo Messi not risked. And how about this for an all-star cast on the subs bench, including Ter Stegen, Frankie de Jong from Ajax, Longley, Jordi Alba, Piquet, Vidal and Artur, to name only a few. You cannot get all that lot on a Champions League bench either. And here's how Napoli under Ancelotti start this evening, unveiling their three major summer signings. Giovanni Di Lorenzo, the youngster. Costas Manolas cost 36 million when he was brought in from Roma. And Elgif Elmas, the young midfielder, just 19 years of age. Up front, though, a more familiar look. Calejon, Insigne and Mertens. They can be magic on their good nights. Formidable trio. Mertens, 16 Serie A goals last season. And Arkadiusz Milik and Simone Verdi. Oh, here's another opportunity. Firpo tries to push it. Puig. Busquets. And he finds the bottom corner and Barcelona lead. Merrick couldn't keep it out. He doesn't score many goals, Sergio Busquets, but he is, without a doubt, one of the best passers of a football in world football. And when he gets the ball on the edge of the day, he's not thinking about shooting, he's thinking about passing it into the back. Insigne, Calejon goes. Pupo nearly got caught out. He did get caught out. Oh, it's 1-1. There's a little touch from a Barca man, but it's a classic Napoli leveller. Well, do you know what? Callejon has been absolutely brilliant on that right-hand side, and they did deserve a goal. They probably should have scored first, and it will be an own goal, I'm sure. But listen, Napoli are very worthy of that equaliser. Excellent build-up. That's a great little ball. Dembele, not bad from him either. Here's Ruiz, nice touches. Slow, shot a little bit too slow but not that one and it's crashed into the net to give Barca a 2-1 lead and Rakitic was the man well you think of the shots in the first half from Luis Suarez on the edge of the box but look at the finish here from Rakitic knee over the top of the ball which means it's not going to go high and it was a definitive and really great professional strike 